I was so excited to get my hands on this camera and uh, all that excitement end up on disappointed and regret that I bought it. I had other videos scheduled but I need to blow a priority on this camera because uh, it's not true what you believe about this camera that is a really good one and can handle that 4K HDMI output. And I watched Sorin video about this camera review and he was prizing so much this camera and that's why I say oh my god if Sorin prizing this camera this means should be a good one right? So I end up buying and uh, believe me I regret it. Why? I will gonna show you all the secrets about this camera which Sorin forget to show you or maybe he wanted to don't show you because maybe has other reason to do that one. So we can see clear that it says HDMI output 4K 60fps and 1080p 60fps. USB-C again 4K FPS and uh, it says that is a Sony IMX uh, 678 over there. And do you think it's true? Is not true at all. So let me show you the real truth and the capability of this camera. So I'm going to open it from here. Yeah, come nice pack. 8K super. Comes with the remote, a HDMI, and the USB cable. So before installing the camera on my trinocular uh, microscope, let me tell you that this is the one that I used with my uh, previous camera and uh, is a 0.3 because the barrel lens underneath is same as 0.3 and to have one to one image on the camera you need to match the barrel lens with the camera adapter. Why I choose 0.3 because it's giving me more space under the microscope to work and uh, give a good uh, magnification. So with this one if I install this camera we're gonna give me a ring round, a black ring round, so it's not making a square image. So that's why I needed also to change this one. I'm gonna show you the things. So let me show you first that is not a, a 4K camera because this is what it says is a 4K camera. I'd say also here that uh, HDMI 4K camera say clear over there. If I can come near, so I can see say clear HDMI a 4K. But it's not. So if you want to buy a camera, please stay away from this one because it doesn't do what it says. So let's install the camera. And by the way, Sorin was mentioning that you need a special adapter. No, it's a standard like any camera fit on. You don't need any adapter. Look, I fit this one. Fit OK. No problem. Maybe also there was when he's telling you telling that he's not uh, need a special adapter because uh, he don't want to tell you that he's creating that black ring around and he's not giving you a square image. See, I don't need any adapter fit perfectly my old camera and also the new camera. So it's a standard adapter for everything. So no need any special adapter. Right. So we are in with the camera and uh, let's connect uh, the power. So I'm using a 2 amp 5 volt uh, power supply. Let's use also my high speed uh, HDMI connector. And uh, you can see the camera is on. And uh, let me switch to the microscope to show you the real image. So. Here we go. We are in the microscope and I have a board over here. And this is how it looks like. So I can definitely zoom in can focus well and I can zoom really good in. So the details is not bad, but is not a 4K. So I wanted to upgrade my camera from a 1080p to 4K and uh, end up don't be that one. So I'm going to use my uh, phone to show you it's much easier for me than to do the screen recorder to show me a lot of uh, mirror effect which I don't like. So how I go? This is my microscope over there and if I go to priority I have my capture card over there and you can see here is 1080p right? If I go to put on 
4K, it will gonna tell me check resolution settings. Set to 1080p to match the source. So our source is the camera HDMI output. So definitely doesn't do 4K. And uh, I can also demonstrate that my capture card is doing uh, 4K. Let me bring my laptop, connect the same HDMI on the laptop and I'll show you that it's giving me 4K resolution. All right, so let's unplug the HDMI because we're using the same input. To show you that is a true, I'm not doing nothing fakes around and I'm using the same cable and the same input. So I'm using my eraser laptop, which is a i core i7 12th gen and has a 10 uh, 3060 RTX uh, graphic cards. It's a really good laptop. So we plug in the HDMI here. We turn on our laptop. It's a bit dusty, long time I don't use it. I'm using only when I need to do fast things to don't open my computer. So I hope the battery is there, good. Yeah, still have juice on. I'm not using often, just only when I need to do some uh, fast emails or some things like that. So that's what uh, is doing my laptop. And I got it a really good one because uh, if I want uh, sometimes to travel and I do some videos while I'm away, I can edit on this one because it's really powerful. Right, so it's on. So I need to put a pin, so so I can see here it's already connected and if I press identify you're going to see that this is one and let me switch to a microscope over here and I can see we have the image from this laptop, so if I press identify you're going to see that is the second. Let me come back to my uh, overhead and if I go here, click on number two and uh, set up the resolution on the output, I can see it's maxim is... Uh, 4K, so I'm gonna my zoom in my camera. So I can see here it's set up on four on 4K resolution. So let me now swap again to the microscope. And if I go here to do the microscope and properties, and if I go to to the resolution, it's still in 1080p. And I go there and I set up on maxim, match the FPS, auto select. I can do highest FPS. I can press OK and I can see here now we have a 4K resolution that my capture card is doing. So we don't have any problem. See, this is our 4K resolution. If I go now to microscope to properties and if I go to the resolution, I can see here is a 4K resolution, which is capable. So the Mechanic MOS 8K camera doesn't do even 4K on the on it. It's just a normal 1080p camera, only that is giving you a more detailed picture, but not at all 4K. And now let me show you that uh, ring effect with my normal camera adapter which is 0.3 because the barrel lens is 0.3 to have one-to-one -one image. So if I attach it here, same like Sorin was saying that you need a special adapter. You, you don't need any special adapter because it's going just a bit, uh, you need to properly go straight, straight. See, that's it. I mean, it was easy. No need any special adapter, so let's install this one now. So in order to install that one, I need uh, I need to undo a screw, which is this one over here, to get out my other adapter. I guess this is a different adapter, which is uh, a CTV half one to two and let's come in with the camera over there 
and I'm going to show you the ring effect. Because he was saying that you need a special adapter to install it and blah blah. Maybe he don't want to show you this uh, ring effect. So that's why he came with that idea to tell you that uh, if you know which adapter need uh, to let him know. But actually, that's the, the camera is not good at all for nothing. So I'm going to repeat again. I regret I bought it. I don't know if now I'm going to be able to get my money back because it's not doing 4K. So let's go to microscope now and see. He's telling me to change the resolution because it was left to the 4K from my laptop and uh, I need now to change it. So let me do quick. So I change it to 1080p and now we have an image. And uh, I can see that's the ring effect that is giving you this uh, this camera. So it's really a bad camera that doesn't uh, and why it's so small because the full screen now should be a 4k and you upscale 1080p to 4k which looks very bad so this is the reason why he was keep telling do you know which adapter need because he's not adapting see I'm trying to focus I can't focus nothing that's the maximum that I can do a focus I can try to adjust the height see here it's focused good but if I go zoom out, again is out of focus, I can focus nothing, I think I need to go more down, that's the maximum that I can go down. I regret that I bought this camera, and I bought it only because Sorin who was telling that is a good camera, he was pricing this camera more than the one that he's using, and uh, he ended up to use the same, the one that he had it before, so... If it's if it's better how he say why he's not using it's a question mark over there right all right so let's take off this camera and put my camera my old camera back because this is really a shit camera and we are going to install back the camera which I use it always which is this one and I'm gonna show you that uh, there is no need any special adapter at all it just go in maybe this one now is not uh, on the right place yeah see i need to undo that screw and uh, make it on the right place so let me undo a bit the screw and should be like that something like that and let's connect back the hdmi over there let me get the power because this one has a jack power and show you that same quality as this one so let me switch over to the microscope we are waiting for the signal now should come the signal in a second yeah and i'm with the zero three zero three x adapter and now you can see here i don't have that uh, ring effect I don't have any ring effect and the quality is the same so 1080p because also this one if I want to go to put a 4k we're gonna tell me the same things so now I'm setting up to the 4k and I can see it's telling me to check the resolution because it's not matching the resolution let me just bring it to see that this is what it says that the 4k is not the source I can see there check resolution setting set to 1080p so let me set about 1080p and now let me make the right size on upscaling 1080p to 4k and that's the quality that we get so same quality there is no difference quality between my old one and this new mechanic which I which I got it and I like more my old one because can can get the adapter 0 0.3 and uh, I can have a lot of space underneath of the microscope to work so yeah that's the quality of my old camera same like the new mechanic which is say that is 4k so do I recommend this camera not at all I pay three times more than my old camera and the quality is the same
1080p actually is worsened because doesn't accept 0.3x adapter which give more space under the microscope to work. It's giving you only 0.5. This means you need to stay more down with your microscope from the surface that you are working. So yeah, please, I hope that there are going to be a lot of people watching this video to understand the truth about this uh, camera, which is not a 4K, how they are claiming. And uh, stay away, save your money. And if you want a 4K, go do your research and buy a 4K if you want to invest money. But in this one, is a waste of money and waste of time. And you get also disappointed on that. So I can say again that I regret I bought it. But I say I bought it because Sorin was pricing it. And Sorin didn't show all these things that I'm pretty sure he might notice it. And he, for any reason, he want to hide it from the people. I don't know. If sorry and you watch this video, please leave your comment down below. Tell me why you don't show all these things about this camera. You was pricing it. You were saying a dynamic range. What is that dynamic range? I want to understand this. Nothing. You just play with the brightness and, and also with the contrast. And then you can get details a bit more detailed on the picture. Whatever you were saying about this camera. And you actually convinced me to bought it. And now I regret that I was definitely having an other camera in my mind, one, one what is doing also autofocus, so you don't need to spin the ring in order to focus, it's doing by itself. And now I need to see if I'm getting now the money back from the seller on this one, because I I send him already videos, and I'm going to publish this video, and I'm going to send also the link on YouTube to see the real truth of this uh, camera that is not 4K, how they are claiming. Anyway, I hope that uh, this video was helpful to understand the real truth about this camera and if you enjoy it don't forget to give me a like and if you want to see more truth and more honest reviews consider subscribing and activate notification bell because i always do honest reviews i will not hide things about a camera or about any things that i'm reviewing i'm doing i'm saying the truth if i feel that is working is okay if i feel that is not working I'm going to say it. I don't have nothing to hide about that. Anyway, until the next one, have a good one and bye-bye.